hello friends welcome to a new video how are you all doing i hope you all are doing fine thanks for watching my video and uh, many more thanks for the subscribers and i got so many comments last week so um, so many friends asked to reset the board with the arduino board so today i will show you how to reset the bq4050 with the arduino board uh, with the arduino board you cannot read or write the data you can just only uh, read some uh, the values like the cycle count full charge capacity you can actually clear the uh, permanent flag uh, errors uh, by sending the commands so i will show you how to do that all stuff and this is the bq4050 it's a actually a chinese chipset you can see there is no uh, fuse like thing just only two mosfets so there is no uh, protection for this battery and this has only a three cycle count after that the battery is dead and also this battery is only 2000 milliampere but the FCC, FCC was 2200 milliampere so you know it's a Chinese board you cannot expect anything and that's it and uh, I have another board with me this is the BQ8050 chip so this board uh, actually I got from one of my friend and there is no battery I try to read the data but this chip is locked somehow uh, because there is no batteries attached so the the EEPROM or the battery is locked I try to enter the boot mode by different different ways nothing worked now I am trying to read it with some other method and you can see behind the battery there is a DB25 connector this board actually using the uh, 74LS05 the hex converter you can see this is uh, I have another motherboard uh, with the TP25 that is a LPT port I have actually and uh, my PC doesn't have the LPT port so uh, I try to read the data I will show that details in the last video how I read the data with the Windows XP uh, because in the Windows 7 or Windows 10 it is not installed in that motherboard it's a very old motherboard okay now back to the video let's open the software and the usual stuff here I'm using the Arduino you know F4 F5 you can see the clock and data pin here the P minus pin here that's all okay back to the video okay now you can see my window here you can see the smart battery access here and one more file you need to actually download from the website the soft I2C master because without this soft without this file uh, the library file so this is the file uh, for the to read and write the data the smart battery hack Arduino file you can find the chip here at mega 328p the data pin is the 4 that is the A4 clock pin is the 5 that is the A5 you can use this two chips also if you want to use any other chips you can define the chips here I mean the Arduino board here okay so uh, if you want to read the the ROM size if anything you can actually edit this and I'm not going to edit anything of it so after that click on the upload button it will compile that's it the done uploading close this go back open the guy folder smart battery hack smart battery hack bin debug you need to extract this file so smart battery hack you need to select the com port connect you can see recent voltage is showing as zero because there is a bug scan SM bus there is no bus is showing you need to change the data and the clock pin if it is not working okay now you can see the SM bus is found my device at the zero B now I'm dumping the register up to 40 dump register you can see the current the voltage the battery is showing a good voltage oh, charging current and charging voltage is zero I don't know why we need to check the remaining capacity is showing as only one milliampere I think the battery need to apply some voltage to make it alive the battery is now in the dead state 
I didn't apply any voltage. The full charge capacity is showing as 2000 milliampere, which I will show you how to change. The design capacity is also 2000 milliampere, so some other values are here. And now check the status. I think this chip is already uh, unsealed in unsealed state. Okay, now if you want to read the unsealed how how it will done it will be done you can use the documents file here uh, if you scroll down you can find the details here the 0414 and the 3672 the common keys for the uh, normal or bq chips and some other and default and seal keys are showing and uh, how how we will check it is in the lock state or in the sealed state so if you go to the 17th register which is the register for the cycle count it is zero so if i apply the value you can see this chip is actually accepting the values from the input it means the chip is in the unsealed state so let's seal this device and try the values again Okay, now I have sealed the chip with the command 0030. Now you can see you cannot change the cycle count. So the chip is in the sealed state. From this on, we will use the default keys to unlock the chip. For that, you need to enter. Before that, we can read the registers again. Now you can see the charging current and the charging voltage is came back because the chip is now in the sealed state the chip now can accept the data but uh, the remaining capacity is showing as one i don't know why we need to check it out i'm not going into anything of it i'm just showing how to unlock or unseal the battery okay now i'm going to give the data value 0414 it is in the hex actually 3672 also in the hex so i'm typing you need to do it as fast because there is only a four second window 0414 and 3672 so click on the word 3672 click on the word oh i didn't select the register okay do it one more 0414 click on the word 3672 7272 click on the word okay it is i think i have done it in the time window four second let's dump the register charging current and charging voltage is zero so i think the chip is in the unsealed state not in the full access mode if you need the full access uh, you can actually change type the default uh, full access keys double f double f wait wait so two times you need to enter now the chip is in the uh, full access mode so you can do anything with this chip it will accept any kind of data inputs so let's dump the register now the cycle count so for all of the outside they need to change the cycle count they need to change the cells because because of the chemistry the charging voltages the cutoff voltages the output uh, current how much it can give you so it uh, if so if you don't know how to check those parameters please use the internet before changing your cells so you need to uh, modify the files on the bq before 0, 5, 0 the files means the data uh, to make sure the battery is uh, perfectly uh, configured for your use so if you plan to increase the capacity from the 2000 to 4000 milliamperes use the same battery do not use any other ba branded batteries or use any batteries other than the your uh, original batteries because uh, the the cutoff voltages the I, I already told you the parameters are different for each of the batteries and it will it is a dangerous thing for you uh, and it, it can happen it uh, you know the, the the explosion batteries all the ev uh, ev ev vehicles are exploding or it is burnt uh, some news are we reading every day because of the uh, charging problem the short circuit 
anything of it so the lithium ions are the, the lithium ion batteries are very dangerous do not play with it they do it as safely and here uh, you know uh, you cannot directly solder the uh, wire to the battery I heard that it will induce or it will uh, give a small energy to the 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 battery and it will uh, it will be a chain reaction something like that I don't know I have done it some so many times nothing will happen but I warning you do not try that and do it to your own risk okay so uh, with uh, if you are using the uh, same cells you can you just only clear the permanent flags just clear the cycle count enter the FCC uh, descent capacity something like that but if you are planning to change the cells do not use the same parameters for the old battery because um, uh, the charging voltage it is very important if it is overcharged there is a chance of uh, a small explosion the battery will get heated so don't try uh, that okay now I am um, going to change the cycle count to zero or I am writing the word now you can see the cycle count is again two zero double six I am writing the word as zero zero I am checking the dumb register you can see the cycle count is changed to zero now you change the uh, cycle count uh, sorry the uh, the full charge capacity to the 4000 milliampere so what is the hex value for the 4000 million milliampere we will use the calculator so we will use the calculator for that 4000 it means 0 for 0 f a 0 so choose the where is it which which register Descent capacity, full charge capacity it is the 10th register. So choose the 10th register and write 0 F A 0. So click on the word. Now read. Now you can see the full charge capacity is changed to 4000 milliampere. So if you want to change the descent capacity, use the same method. Select the 18th register. Click on the word. Now read. You can see the descent capacity is also changed to 4000 milliampere. So I am revert back to the normal value for the 2000. It will be say 07D0. So 07D0. Click on the word. Also the 10th register. Click on the word. Now read the data values again. We can see the full charge capacity is, capacity is 2000 and the descent capacity is 2000. The charging current and the charging voltage just came back and that's it and if you change if you want to change the manufacturer data you need to enter the data in a in an order of something uh, you cannot just simply enter the data here we need to convert it to the normal uh, hex values okay then if you what else uh, what other values are you need to change the temperature is showing 27 actually there is no thermistor there is no sensor on this board it is already preset to 27 uh so the if you, you need to change the permanent failure flag just enter 0029 click on the word it will clear the permanent fail failure things you can read the uh, word file comes with the what to say you can see the full charge capacity the cycle count the recent capacity and modifying the data flash cycle count initialization this is for the 20 8284 series because the memory map the different different ICs are using different thing for this new kind of ICs or chip we can directly give the input values we don't need to enter the data flash to change the values okay now uh, now we can close this we can seal the chip by giving the 0030 click on the word now if you try to change the cycle count we can see the cycle count stays the zero because the chip is sealed so this is a simple way of editing the values so if you don't know the unsealed key so if you don't know the full access key you cannot do this you cannot just read and write the rom with the arduino board there is no software also there is no actually there is no uh, code available on the internet i th i know it is possible with the arduino but uh, we are actually i am limited to the source uh, I don't know any more resources with me so that's it if I found anything with the Arduino board I will definitely publish on a video and the bonus clips which I want to actually share with you is uh, this so I don't know any
video recording software will work on the Windows XP so I found the let's uh, mute mute the mute the volume no this is not the video this is okay this is it uh, here I am reading the BQ8050 chipset which I have shown in the first part of this video you can see I am using the UBRT Regedit the free test battery software but with this software you can actually do some tricks you can do the SMBus read and write functions you can uh, there is actually a uh, apply the simple codes uh, simple unsealed values are available on the top part you can see on the top part top part 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 you can actually find these keys so here you can see I am reading the BQ8050 the chip is identified as the BQ8050 so you can see the recent capacity if you if you change the uh, channel from here there is an option to for the channel I don't know what is the channel exactly maybe the battery version the SMS version the PC version I don't know you can choose this LPT here and you can read the version uh, you can read the battery uh, the data here but you need the LPT to uh, I2C converter which I have made myself and I will sh uh, release a video of it but there is no software to uh, unlock these chips without paying any money so I am developing a software actually with the CP2112 it will release in 2 or 3 months I am still in the developing state and it's a, it will be a free software you can find it in the github ok so that's it that is how we changed the values of the BQ4050 with the Arduino board if you have any doubt please free feel to comment you can contact me through the telegram instagram facebook or through the youtube comment section you can check the links in the description box you can find anything uh, in my channel if you found anything useful please subscribe that's all i can say so that's it thanks for watching this video we will see again